Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Gamer Treasures. I got just a little quick shipping video. Again, I know I've done a couple before, but I'm gonna show you from start to finish everything. So I got my scale, tape gun, Sharpie, uh, tape measure, I don't have it here, scissors. I got, this is cardboard off of a priority box that I bought something in and was shipped to me and I cut up the box afterwards. I've got an eight by five by three box. This is one uh, size I have, uh, probably about 15 left in stock. And then I've got like a, I think this is a double zero mailer or a triple, I think it's a double zero because I think they're out of triples. So what I mail cards in is the triples, which is smaller than this one even, but I think they were out. <clears throat> anyway, so first up, I'm shipping this uh, stock number. I have stock numbers for some of these cards. I have so many. A7. Um, I don't know how well. You guys can see the card, but it's like a moderate to heavy play, probably heavy play. Um, Tropical Island from Revised. And that's going to go in this. It's going to go into a team bag, which this is a recycled team bag. I think I got this from something I ordered. I saved them. <coughs> and then I also have uh, new ones too, uh, but I think I have like five or six of these. So I put it upside down so if the card happens to slide out of there, it doesn't slide out of the team bag, it, it, it'll get caught at the bottom, um, which I think would be less likely to get damaged that way. So and then we gotta tape that up. And then um, one thing I like to do is get the scissors here, uh, especially on these ex more expensive cards, we're gonna cut some cardboard out to size, especially since I don't have the, the exact right size miller I like. Um, I'm gonna cut out both, overlap this, cut two for both sides. So we're gonna make a sandwich with this card. And it is in a hard case, so. Like I could probably just drop it in there with just the hard case and it would be fine. But on the $200 plus cards, or maybe even $100 plus cards, I usually make a video just in case they say they didn't get it or something. I have evidence of me packing it. Um, so that's one thing that I do. Um, on this. Come on. That's probably gonna be hella loud in the video. It doesn't have to be perfect, but tape it to there. I'll probably use a little bit too much tape on that first side. Tape it to there. Bam, nice and tight. And then uh, this is A7, so I put it on both sides of the cardboard. A7, A7. <clears throat> Put that on top there and now we need to seal it up and I usually I'll do the opposite side so you guys see that I'm getting a message from Alex Turco on Facebook on my phone it's popping up on top of my GoPro app you know how I can tell it's him? Because he's always got his puppy dog on there. Okay, so that's the um, Tropical Island. It's in there. Open up this. Slide that right on down in that bad boy. Peel the adhesive. Bam, almost done. You need a slick label on it, but what I can do is put even more tape on it. A7 on the seal and then I'll print my label and put it on there from what's on uh, the payment and that one's done. Now the other one we got, this one's gonna be a little more difficult, I need that cardboard anymore, is it's an AT&T like U-verse remote that was brand new that I got at a garage sale. So I got this in a box of things that had Super Nintendo controllers, a Panasonic phone system and a couple other things for a dollar. So I probably got like a quarter into that. It sold for eight bucks um, shipped. So I'm not making a lot of money, but I'm probably still making like $3, something like that, three, four dollars off of it. And you can see on the box there, it says eight by five by three. I got these off somewhere off of eBay. Um, usually it'll let you build your size that you, you want and then go from there. And you can see this fits right in here like this, but we need to void fill a little bit here. So I got a trick. So this is a phone book, which is obsolete, and a Harbor Freight book. So usually what I'll do, this is recycling here. 
recycling a phone book. And then we're just gonna, I could have just probably put this, uh, wrapped it in bubble tape and put it in a bubble mailer. But since it's a remote, I don't want it to get broken um, from it getting thrown or stepped on. And this is kind of, I do everything kind of the ghetto, the cheap way. Well, not always the cheap. These boxes cost a little bit of money. Um, I have those on hand, but as far as like filling, I, I try not to buy peanuts and stuff like that um, because I got these perfectly good old phone books and Harbor Freight books and uh, old newspapers and old, old uh, financial books that I don't need on prospectuses. I've used those. Um, pretty interesting. Man. And then get up for this. Oops. Sure. Gonna go all the way around this time. And then I usually go around. Other side, you could do that on the middle or you could do it on both edges, but I think, actually I'm gonna do both sides. That kind of split up a little bit when I did that. Bam, done. I gotta weigh that now, so here's my scale. This is, uh, I think it's an Amazon one. Could have been on eBay too, so 7.6 ounces. And this will round up to eight actually. And these boxes cost me, I think I got these ones for like 40 cents or something. Um, but anyways, that's my two things I'm mailing out tomorrow. So they're all done minus the labels, which I won't show on the channel. Just a quick little uh, shipping video. I'll do some other ones. I know Dan Jan asked me about how to ship books. So I've got books for sale. I had one sell the other day, um, but they said it was uh, too old of an edition. They found out they needed sixth edition. I had a fifth edition and uh, they asked for me to cancel the order since I hadn't shipped it yet. And so I said, no problem, I'll do it. I refunded them their money. Um, the thing that sucks is I had to eat like a 30% PayPal fee. I don't get all my money back because they made a mistake, but I did the right thing and it's better than to ship it and then them want to return it and then have to pay shipping both ways. So those things happen. Uh, 30 cents isn't that bad of a loss. Uh, relisted it for $3 higher. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll sell a couple books so I can upload uh, how I would package those and ship those. Uh, thanks for watching. GoPro stop.